thought it would be fun to do a bike check on my Bridgestone Anchor NJS bike. I use this thing for commuting when I think the weather is going to be nice and I don't have to carry a lot of stuff. It's not built to be light, it's pretty heavy for a track bike, uh, but it's lighter than any of my other bikes and it feels really light and fast to ride. It's got, you know, the really racy geometry and light tubing and all that stuff. The frame I bought by itself from NJS Export on eBay. Uh, no fork or anything. Uh, it has a couple of dents in it, so I got a really good deal on it. Shipped from Japan in like maybe a week. It got here really, really, really fast. I was surprised. Um, but I've been looking out on the lookout for a blue NJS frame. I had a, an iRibe a couple of years ago that I really, really liked, but it was just too small for me. So I sold it, and since then I've been wanting to have another one. So this came up in my size, a really cool blue fade color. Uh, I picked it up, and then the fork is off of another bike. I don't really know what bike it came off of. The, the seller on eBay who was selling the fork didn't know. That's kind of a running theme with a lot of the parts on this bike, now that I think about it. Um, but it's just a kind of a nice-ish arrow-bladed uh, Tongue fork. It's threaded, but it's for a lot bigger bike, um, so I was able to clamp the threadless stem onto it. Uh, it's about like half threads, half uh, unthreaded steerer. I don't feel like it's sketchy at all. I don't weigh a whole lot, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, FSA Orbit headset and yet another mysterious stem uh, off of eBay. It, the seller didn't list what size it was. I bought it for my wife's Surly, uh, just assuming it was one and one eighth. And then, of course, you know, we get it and it's one inch, so I threw it in the parts bin and always had the idea of like, oh yeah, it would be cool to get like a, a cheapo uh, steel fork that's a little bit too long and, uh, you know, put it on a track bike so that I can use a front brake. So I guess in a way the bike is built around that stem. It's pretty heavy. I could put a lighter one on there, but I just think it looks so cool that I haven't. It's a x -Age. Uh, front brake on there. It's from the local bike co-op. Uh, it works fine. I don't really use it, so, you know, it's just there in case of anything sketchy happening, because that has in the past. Uh, I got a little frightened going down a hill, so I ride, a, I ride my fixed gear with a brake now. Uh, handlebars are Nitto Noodle Bars, the Rivendell model. Um, I can't remember how wide they are. I think they're like 40 centimeters wide. They're they're fine. I've got the Chinelli Volley tape, which is my favorite tape that I've tried. It feels so good. Uh, it rewraps, you know, lots and lots of times. You can swap it between bikes or handlebars if need be. It's really comfy. It looks good on everything. Uh, just really good tape. Uh, I've got Sheldon Brown's favorite brake levers. They came with the handlebars when I got them. They work just fine. The, it sucks that the plastic is broken, but nothing I can really do about that. It's, yeah, maybe I'll like glue this back together. I'm not really pressed about it though. The front wheel is a uh, Velo Orange. Voyager? They named all their rooms after like Star Trek series. Kind of cute. Pretty goofy. Um, and then front hub is an unknown Campagnolo hub. 36 spokes. True to the NJS vibe. And 
Continental Ultra Sport in 23 millimeters. I'm not really a tire snob or anything. It works, it's a good tire. Uh, yeah, I could fit a fatter one when it wears out. I'll definitely put something maybe more like a 28 millimeter in there. Uh, but until then, no complaints about this tire, it feels fine. Moving on back, we've got this 3T saddle that came on my friend's old Bianchi. Uh, he, he just didn't like it and uh, swapped the saddle out. He was going to throw it away because it had a tear right here. Um, so he gave it to me um, and I decided I just threw some Gorilla Tape on it and went on my way. I really like it. I think it looks cool with all the patina and tape and uh, fits my butt pretty good. It feels nice. The seat post, yet another thing that I know nothing about. Uh, just picked it up for cheap off eBay a while ago. It's pretty cool looking, I think. It's got kind of like a modern, classic, like Richie type of vibe. Uh, my Carity saddlebag, Super C. It's pretty good. I've had it for a really long time. I really like it. Uh, it's like a little techier looking than other Caridis bags. I like that Globe logo though. It's pretty cool. And it's got the Caridis Bagman support, which I like a lot. It looks kind of dorky, but it really is nice to have the top of the bag be level with the ground because otherwise it's like in here and you know facing away from me. I just don't like it as much. Although it would look, you know, cooler, I guess. Crank set is this genetic tibia, which is sort of, a, I guess, like a British version of the Andel, like track crank. And I've got a specialties traction avant chainring on there. Pretty good setup. Uh, can't find any faults with it, really. I guess I feel like. Pedals are these stolen Thermalite aluminums. I really love them. They fit my feet really well. Uh, they look nice because they're silver. Got these fixation knockoff hold fast straps that my friend gave me like 12 years ago. Um, the nice thing about having lots of different bikes and cycling through them is that stuff doesn't wear out that fast. So these been on several different bikes and they work fine they're very comfortable i know you know they they're not as classic looking as maybe toe clips but when i'm wearing boots when it's cold out or you know like big tennis shoes or something it's just nice to have something uh, that hugs my foot and uh lets me position it however i want they're really nice repping the little blue bug guy and the uh, dig safe sticker. Make sure you call 811 before you dig. Got this Pake uh, top two protector thing. Just because the you know, handlebars can swing around without me noticing. And that's always a bummer like when I'm going to park the bike or something. Out back is the same Velo Orange rim, uh, but I built this one up with a Soma hub. They were on sale from Soma in the 36 spoke version, so I was like, sick. Let me pick up one of them. Uh, and that kind of dictated the whole wheel build. But yeah, same rim as the front, just laced up to the Soma hub. And I've got a Euro Asia Imports uh, 15 tooth cog on there. Oh, yeah, the front ring is a 46 teeth. 46 15 ratio. And then a Halo Rock ring, you know, whatever. Had it in parts of the British. The chain is an Izumi, uh, it's like the 
Eco chain, you know, the more affordable, not the super toughness one in black and gold. I've just got it because it looks cool, honestly. But it's a good chain, no, no complaints about the drivetrain at all. Same 23 millimeter ultra sport tire in the back. There's also clearance for a 28 millimeter back here, so we gotta, you know, whenever this moves out. Maybe a Gravel King? I don't know. So that's it. Bridgestone Anchor Track Bike. Commuter.